From the State House, dozens of Vermonters weighed in on a proposed amendment to the state constitution about abortion rights. The Reproductive Liberty Amendment, as it's called, passed the Vermont Senate twice, and the House is days away from holding its final vote. State House reporter Devin Bates joins us now live in the newsroom with more from today's public hearing. Devin? That's right, Lauren. Approval from the Vermont House of Representatives is all that's standing between this amendment and a statewide vote in November. Now, that would be far from the first time Vermonters have had their say. As this three-year process has unfolded, there's certainly been passionate voices on both sides. The choice when and if to parent is intensely personal. It's heavy and complex for some, certain and easy for others, but it must be made without interference by politicians. What exactly is meant by reproductive autonomy? And why are there no age restrictions? Abortion rights are already well protected in Vermont, but Vermont's families and children increasingly are not. Vermont's Reproductive Liberty Amendment, also known as Prop 5, is intended to safeguard the right to reproductive liberty granted under Roe v. Wade, regardless of any future decision by the U.S. Supreme Court. For some, Vermont's acceptance and network of abortion services were the reason they moved here. In Arizona, if I was given an incompatible with life diagnosis, I would have had to have a mandatory ultrasound, a 24-hour wait period, and since my issues could only be diagnosed through invasive testing after 10 weeks, I would have but one clinic in the entire state that would help me. If the Reproductive Liberty Amendment is passed, Article 22 of the Vermont Constitution would state, quote, that an individual's right to personal reproductive autonomy is central to the liberty and dignity to determine one's own life course and shall not be denied or infringed unless justified by a compelling state interest achieved by the least restrictive means. Those against this have often argued the language is too vague or that the amendment itself is unnecessary. Many legal experts have already noted that even in the unlikely event that the Supreme Court would rule in a manner that overturns Roe v. Wade, there would be no impact on Vermont's current laws. Others said the urgency is warranted. Right now, the U.S. Supreme Court is considering a Mississippi case that could overturn the 1973 ruling. Women will always choose their own reproductive destiny, and the reality is it will either be at the dangerous end of a coat hanger, or it will remain safe in the capable and trained hands of a professional. For our daughters and our granddaughters, we must ensure it remains the latter. The House will bring the amendment to a vote next week. If it passes, it'll be on the November ballot statewide. Live in the newsroom tonight, Devin Bates, Local 44 News.